friends and welcome to the Den for the Weekend Shave. So glad to have you here with me, uh, spending part of your weekend here in the Den with me. Uh, hopefully you all had a wonderful week and your weekend's off to a great start. So, Arco. <laughs> Arco, very polarizing scent. Now I'm going to roll an image in uh, right here. And I want you guys to look at that. Maybe that'll jog your memory. Because to me, that is what Arco smells like. And that is the sunlight bar soap for removing stains out of your clothes. To me, it smells almost identical to that. I know people say this smells like a urinal puck. And there's the soap. I have it pressed down in this container because I do like to, uh, to brush, like tub load. But to me, that's what it smells like. I don't really get the urinal puck scent off it. I just get a fresh lemon soapy scent so next time you're at the grocery store and uh you're perusing the aisles go down the laundry aisle and i'm sure wherever you are canada for sure the united states probably even europe you'll probably find uh that sunlight stain remover but you can only find it in the laundry aisle and it's for hand scrubbing stains out of you know t-shirts pants what what have you and just pick up the wrapper and smell it. You don't even need to open the wrapper. You'll smell it right with the wrapper. I'm almost certain it smells just like this. And I've always enjoyed that scent, so that's probably why I like Arco. Go figure. Brush we're gonna use today is the uh, MLS shaving brush. Just going with a nice synthetic knot today. Nice brush handmade by my man, Maddie Lindholm. If you're interested in getting a hold of one of these brushes, just get a hold of Maddie. Link to his channel down below. Also, uh, Mary and the Barbarian, I do believe, uh, handles some distribution of these brushes and soaps for Matty. I mean, this stuff loads like really, really quick. Like I got a, I got a good proto ladder going already. Like I said I've always liked Arco. I don't, I don't mind the scent. I think it's just a fresh lemon scent. And. Uh, Performance, I mean, it's it's pretty hard to beat the performance. I think anybody that's used Arco will say the same thing. The performance on this stuff is really, really good. Now, whether or not the scent is for them, that's a whole other ball of wax, but I think most shavers would agree that uh, Arco works very well. And it's a very cheap soap, too. Now we'll get that proto-lather onto the face. Get out and did some fishing on Monday. My, uh best friend in the whole wide world called me up actions they called me he texted me he wanted to know if i wanted to go fishing and i was like hell yeah i do so uh we don't went out monday and uh, we had some success so that was a it was a good time i i didn't i didn't catch one myself per se so but i did help so we were fishing off a bridge uh off a bridge deck in uh, in the tidal water catching the, the sea trout that were uh, on the run. And the, the, the way we we're gonna go about it was whoever got a bite, so say if I got a bite, I'd, my friend John would pull his line up out of the water and then I would, you know, fight the fish or whatever and walk it to the side of the bridge and we were about in the middle of the bridge, so it was a good like 20 foot walk uh, to, to the side. And I would walk to the side where he would go down, down the rocks with the, uh, with the net. And then he would catch the trout with the net. Because the bridge deck is probably a good 10, 15 feet up off the water. So you're not, you're not going to hoist a fish on the hook that, that high up in the air and, and even hope of a, you know, retaining it. And plus, you don't want to do any undue stress to the fish either if you weren't going to keep it. So that was the way we went about it. So he got a bite. I got a few bites. I just couldn't hook up. Couldn't get the hook set in time. So so I definitely had my chances. But anyway, he got a bite, and then I reeled my line in and uh, took over his rod and fought the fish, worked it. And reeled it in, worked it towards the net, and walked it over to the net. And I could see just fine to do all that. So it was good. Casting was still a bit difficult. I'm going to have to switch how I cast. I am uh, I like to sidearm cast, but that's not going to work. Because I just got no accuracy. So 
I'm going to switch over to overhand casting and at least that way if I do it right it doesn't matter if I can see where my line is going it's going to go whichever direction I'm pointed so I'm hoping to get out this week and practice that but no all in all it was a good day there's two other fishermen there and uh they gave us their catch they had two nice big trout and I think what happened was they were over their size limit um, they didn't stop fishing when they should have because uh, you're only here with our regulations you're only allowed to keep one trout over 15 inches and, uh, and that's each so if there's two of you is fishing then um, each person's allowed to have a trout over 15 inches and uh, and that's it no more and I think they had more than that so they gave us their fish and one of them was a real chunky monkey I actually have that in the in the freezer right now freaking trout was about it was about that long it's a good sized trout about two pounder so very nice wished I could have hooked it up myself but oh well I'll take it and I'll get my chances I know so the razor for today is going to be the Hepwood Jagger DE89 barley handle just see if you that'll focus in beautiful intricate knurling on these razors made in Sheffield England uh, a Wizomet on its third use just under 24 hours of growth and the reason I'm going with this is I uh, I used the fat last night Mitchell's wool fat in this razor on two days growth and I got such an incredible shave with this razor so I just want to see if I can recreate that shave and see if I can get two shaves in a row with this uh, being that good because I'm kind of struggling with the daily shaving again I am getting irritation and I don't like that so I'm just trying to see if I can uh, if I can get another shave that good the second day in a row. And this razor usually has never treated me very well as a daily driver, but but I wasn't using Wizomets, and Wizomets really seem to agree with my skin. So we'll see how that goes. And as you can see, this lather stayed very nice. I really don't know why I don't use Urco more often. I, I I actually I really do like the lather. Like look at that. It's just super thick and creamy. It's incredibly slick. I know the scent is what gets people on it. But for me, if you like a simple lemon scent, you're gonna get that. Alright, and this is where the blade testing or the razor testing really begins. So far, so good. It's feeling good. All right. So other than a bit of fishing, really, there's really nothing new and exciting going on. Just hoping to get out and do some more, catch some big fish. And that's it. And they're definitely here. I belong to a Facebook group, PEI Sport Fishing, and there's been some guys pulling in some real big monsters. So, just gotta get out there and get on them. But so far, the shave is going good. Just the kind of shave I like. Nice, easy peasy. No muss, no fuss, just get her done kind of a shave. All right, and this is for all the marbles right here. Yeah, I can feel that blade just a little bit more than yesterday. But 
but not too much more though. It's pretty much BBS right there already. Yeah, we're gonna leave it with that. And get this cleaned up and then uh, I like to do that one pass and I got to do just a little bit of stretching to get these little pesky areas don't be afraid to uh, do a bit of stretching if you have to with a DE razor you'd be surprised uh, those little trouble spots how you can get them if you just apply a bit of stretching that's pretty good. Maybe just a little bit right there. Very nice. All right. Well, that was uh, that was a good shave. You know, must no fuss. Cold water rinse. This stuff actually has a nice post shave feel too. It really is a good soap. Considering how cheap it is, like this stuff is dirt cheap, but it performs. For an off the shelf, mass marketed commercial soap, it's actually quite a good one. That was a good little shave. Maybe a little bit of irritation likely won't shave tomorrow oh i missed a bunch of fur right there Well, it's being stubborn. Right in this area right here. It's always tough to get. There, that'll work. All right. So to carry on the, uh, the citrus scent, I'm going to go with one of my favorite old school bombs, and that is Soapy Bathman Tropical Lime with the second level of menthol. It was the cool thing about um, Chris's bombs was you could uh, get them with no menthol or uh, three different levels of menthol. And I can feel that going to work already. And the bomb is pretty loose. Jeez, I think it's like four years old, but something like that, but it still works, so why not I still got a soap to go through with it so all right well that was a good shape we will go with that all right so that about wraps this one up so thank you guys for tuning in do appreciate it a very nice shave with the Arco and the uh, Edwin Jagger it was a good combo so uh, that'll do it for this weekend. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another. Most importantly, have a great day and even better shave. We're going to catch you in the next one. Peace, and I love you.